Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. As you can see, I'm back in the garage. Uh, this is gonna be a very short video uh, talking about bash plates. So you might have already seen that I have replaced my stock Honda CRF 300 Rally bash plate with one of the Yamoto alloy bash plates. Uh, that came from Thailand. Seems to do a pretty good job. It's bolted onto the bottom of the bike. It was quite a good fit. Uh, I did have to put some pressure on it in order to get the holes to line up, but it was basically fine. Seems to be working so far and I've been using it for lifting the bike. Now there's a company in the UK called Kodama Composites who made a lot of quite fancy looking uh, protection for the Honda CRF 250 Rally as well as several other bikes. And what I've got is their prototype for the Honda CRF 300 Rally. So it's made from carbon fiber with Aramid and Kevlar. It's pretty light. Uh, this isn't the finished version. This is just a late stage prototype that I'm gonna try putting on my bike just to see how it fits. So uh, yeah, how it looks now is not how the final ones will look. But if you look on this side, you can see that it's actually bolted to the, uh, the stock bash guard. So I know that the holes are gonna line up perfectly because it's exactly what was there before. Um, it certainly seems strong enough uh, from a holding perspective, even if it does get scratched up a lot. So when I took mine off my bike, it did have a few big gouges in the bottom and that's from probably three or 400 miles of riding on, on rocky trails. So having this on the underside, I think is it's, it's certainly a flat surface. It just feels really, 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 really strong. And I think particularly on these edges uh, where it's up against the bodywork that goes behind it, it seems that that is very, very stiff indeed uh, and wouldn't move. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a very quick video. I'm gonna take the Yamoto bash plate off my bike. I'm gonna put this on, uh, give you a look about how it looks while it's on the bike. I'm gonna share those back with uh, Kodama Composites so they can you know, make any modifications that they need to make. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully it will be interesting and then these things will be on the market in the fairly near future. Very first thing I'm gonna do is lift the bike up. Um, this is on my ABBA stand, uh, which you might have seen from the other videos. I've actually anchored the swing arm to the base. So as I lift the, the bike up on the pivot points, the front should come up in the air. And that'll just make it a bit easier to show you what I'm doing when I'm taking off the bash guard. I did have a few questions from people asking if you needed to take all the bodywork off because I did my rear suspension and exhaust at the same time as I did the bash guard. I did confirm to them that you didn't, uh, but this will be an opportunity just to show that the bash guard does come off independently of the rest of the bodywork. So to get to the top two bolts on the bash plate, I just need to remove this piece. So this is four five millimeter bolts. Next thing is these two in here, which are 10 millimeter. Then we have these two at the back, uh, which are an eight millimeter socket. Uh, one thing someone asked me about was the level of protection for the rear, rear linkage. Um, as you can see on here, this does actually stop, uh, stop short of it. I don't think anything's actually going to give you the protection that comes down all the way under here, um, but I'll see what the other one looks like once it goes on. Okay, so that's the Yamoto one off. Okay, so now I'm going to fit the new one, um, and that should go on in exactly the same way as the old one came off. Um, looking at the back of it, it does extend a little bit, beyond the stock bash guard, but it's not, it's not significant. So to whoever asked me if you need to remove the fairing to get the bash plate on, you don't have to, but makes fitting the bash plate a lot simpler. Okay, now that is all on. It's now whether I can get these into the holes. There we go. Okay, that's on. Now that actually does seem to line up pretty well. So yeah, uh, if you are doing this or you're putting any bash guard on, uh, with the side panels on, you need to make sure you've got the bits that it can fit back into. So now I'm just gonna lift it back up again, put the front cover back on, check all the bolts are tight, and then give you a look around. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick look in there. If you can see inside there where the tabs fit into the bodywork. Uh, it is very, very snug all the way around, but it seems to fit quite well. I can get my light around the header. There we go. You see them in on that side. So now that it's fitted properly, you can see there is a tiny little gap here, so it isn't touching uh, my lifting posts. Uh, it comes up here, it does give you a little bit of protection uh, on the oil cover, though I suspect this bit of fairing uh, would go before the oil cover did. Uh, coming through here, it is very snug, I think maybe even like a foam pad, something in, inside there would be useful. Around to the front, uh, this will make more sense once I've put the other piece back in. But yeah, it's certainly, uh, 
uh, a very, very close fit. Give you a bit of a view from this side. Again, you can see it's a very close fit all the way around. It is actually touching here, so a pad would be useful. Um, when you come down to this bottom corner, it is just touching on this side. So there's a very tiny amount, but I mean, I think we're talking millimeters. There's almost nothing. Um, so they've done a really, a really great job of assembling that. So the final thing for me to do is to put the plate that, back goes, that goes back on there, and then I'm done. Okay, so now I'm gonna just line it up again, see if I can get that one, which is a particularly problematic one, uh, to line up with that. Okay, so I found the problem. Uh, this bolt is very slightly too high on the prototype. So there is a nut on the inside which is snagging. And I think if I can just remove that nut, then I should be able to assemble it all. And they know they, they then need to just make that hole very slightly lower. So now that's all assembled, let's give you a look at it from all angles. It is a really snug fit at the front. I think they are gonna try and maybe trim some of this back a little bit, especially places like that where it actually extends out beyond the bash plate. Just put something in, but actually uh, that bit's loose because that's the screw I had to take out. Once that bolt is lowered down very slightly, um, then that will be able to bolt up. So as you can see, it's just a really, really snug fit all the way around um, and it just extends back. I think there's a little, a little piece to come off the corner here uh, just so that doesn't snag. Uh, if anyone's using those lifting eyes. Someone had, me, had asked me if it would give any protection to the rear linkage. And as you can see there, no, not really, no, no more than anything else. But then again, um, I think that is a difficult thing to try and protect. As you can see, it is quite smooth underneath. This is still a prototype. This isn't the final one. Uh, the final ones themselves will actually be uh, taken from a mold uh, that was used for this. Um, I think they're gonna be like a very smooth finish and they will fit exactly to the uh, existing Honda bash plate. I think that's pretty good really. I'm just going to drop the bike back down on the ground, I'll take a couple of photos, I'll record my final comments, and that will be my Wednesday short for today. So that's it, that's my very short Wednesday video to fit the Kodama Composites prototype bash guard to my CRF 300 rally. Now I've done as much as I can do with this for right now, so I'll put this video together. Uh, what they have asked me to do is if I can drill uh, the holes slightly lower, uh, for where they were snagging uh, that was stopping me from reassembling it. Um, I think also on the side bits, uh, particularly on the left hand side, it's pretty close to the gear shift. So I'm gonna cut that out a little bit as well. Um, now all of that is gonna take uh, a lot more uh, setup. Uh, I think it'll be quite dusty. Um, it's gonna take more time and then to refit it. So I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow. Then the prototype will go back to them. Um, they'll turn that into what I think will be their finished, their finished product. Uh, and then yeah, they should be available in the near future. So when I get the final production version, which I think will look very shiny, um, it will have the Kevlar in it, it'll have like the really smooth finish. Um, so yeah, I think it'll look the business. Um, so yeah, as soon as I get one of those, I will do a video for that as well. So thank you for watching. If this has been interesting and useful, please like and subscribe, or don't, whichever you wish. But you know, you could subscribe. Subs count for something, I think, maybe. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope this has been useful, uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.